afternoon, everyone. It's an honor um, to be here. Uh, I'm going to have a lot to share with you, so I want to rattle through it fairly quickly. So what I don't want to tell you is that I was up till 1.30 this morning trying to cut down the deck from 105 slides, and I got down to 104. I, I'm only joking. Um, I forgot my clicker down there. So I'm... <laughs> Thank you, but this, isn't a, uh, 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 this, this wasn't a change that I made till 1.30 last night. Um, when I received the invitation, I agonised over what to present. Um, I could have brought in work from the UK, general work, work from Europe, from, uh, work from the world. And I'm glad I didn't do that, because over the last 48 hours, I've seen a high level of latent knowledge here. You guys know your work globally. Um, so. What I want to do is bear my soul, and um, I'm going to share with you, um, as the uh, preface in the literature said, my, my top ten tips. Um, and I hope that you all return reframing the way you evaluate, the way you steer, the way you commission digital creative. Because I've been a digital creative since the last century, well into the last century. So my top 10 tips I've carried with me for a while. And, and uh, this is my view of, uh, of how I view the industry as a creative now. So as we've heard over the last couple of days, the era of messaging at is changing. What I mean by messaging at is one-way push communications. And that applied to digital during the early days as well. We mustn't ignore that component. And we're the people who've created that behavioral change. Between us all, we've commissioned, we, we've conditioned everyone um, to uh, d uh, demand and receive anything they like, wherever they are, uh, whenever they want. And the, the appetite's insatiable because increasingly people want it now. Um, interestingly, uh, Pearl earlier uh, um, uh, in the, the video um, uh, in the, uh, showed TiVo, Time Shift TV. TiVo has been with us for 10 years. But interestingly, Mad Men, uh, the American drama aimed at, uh, uh, at reflecting Madison Avenue and the ad industry during the formative days, is one of the most uh, programs that has most ads skipped through, ironically. So the program about advertising um, has the ads uh, fast forwarded. Um, so, Diving straight into uh, uh, my top 10 tips, just to go back to the framing uh, premise here, I believe that brands need to earn the right to find a place uh, and a role in people's lives. As we've been conditioned to consume media on our terms, our brands need to work harder to find a role. Number 10, and you'll see, I didn't want to give the game away in the literature. This is in straight English now. Um, and, um, and also, I begin with number 10, not number 1, because I'm in that awkward place. And uh, some of you need to leave soon also, so I'm between that and the royal wedding. So I need you to stay with me as we get to, to number 1. Number 10, improve your hear hearing. Um, we all know that, uh, the value and impact of insight. But now we have the tools to allow us to get even closer. And uh, the area that digital hasn't quite cracked uh, on its own yet is building brands, building non-dot-com brands online. So we have license to dig deep and find uh, a, a deep psychological, behavioral, motivational trigger that um, uh, whether it's a passion point or uh, an area beyond product to uh, enter someone's life. Um, once you achieve that, then you have license to, to deliver the product through, through it. Um, uh, as Brad said, uh, Procter & Gamble is a client, received a brief to launch um, Ariel, um, uh, relaunch the website across Europe. The client's brief was, just create the pan-European website. And we said, why? And they said, because our banner advertising shows products here, and we want people to go from that banner advertising to a website. And we said, that's a product-to-product -product message. So given the investment, the media buy to drive people, um, the ROI might not be that great. Is there another way we can look at um, what you really want, how we can deliver more uh, for, uh, uh, for the, the dot-com experience? These, are just, uh, these screens just, show, just reflect that point in a disparate manner. The research was really profound. 
we spoke um, to mums who constitute the market. And um, we found that a lot of mums who prefer branded laundry material uh, product um, uh, uh, choose it because it's a statement in its small way of success. And we found tear-jerking, deep insight um, that uh, told us that a lot of the mums had made sacrifices in their personal lives. They'd um, not gone to university. They'd married early. They'd had children. So they felt really exposed uh, and I'm getting goosebumps telling this now, they felt, and um, it's a real tearjerker, they felt really exposed at the school gate because they were comparing themselves to other mums who, in their eyes, were more successful. So how they present their family to society is an, is, is an important badge and reflection of success to them. However, when it came to specific laundry issues, they weren't prepared to ask their, their peers at the school gates, friends, for advice, because that would be yet another admission of failure. But they told us they were quite happy to pick up the phone to their mums, to their sisters. So there was, there was a need for advice, and, and the solution was there. So just, uh, pushing, uh, just, just going through this very quickly, we turned the dot-com, rather than uh, a product sales tool, into a utility, into a useful service. And the idea was called pushing miracles, pulling answers. Um, and, um, oops, going the wrong way. And we preloaded the site with stacks of content and built an, agor an algorithm that talks to Google. And that allows us to read, search, to analyze general um, searches across Europe on the day. And if, uh, based on the tagging, if keywords appeared, and, uh, that were relevant to that point in, uh, in time, even during the week, then the content would be displayed. So it was a dynamic web experience. It meant that if people were worrying about removing red wine stains um, on a Sunday morning, um, then that would be reflected in the, automa in the uh, content that's delivered at homepage level. Uh, if they're worried about removing grass stains from their kids' sports site, uh, from their kids' sports uh, kits, that would be reflected at home page level. We wouldn't have arrived at that solution unless we listened really carefully to the mums. Number nine, no more messaging out media. Um, going back to my point earlier, this applies uh, to the web. Um, can anyone hazard a guess here um, on click-through models, um, what click-through rates are, uh, uh, audited click-through rates in, in the Indian market? 50. That's very good. That's what I mean, high latent knowledge. I was going to try and fool you by saying, ha-ha, 18%. Nope, I made a mistake. In reality, it's 0.18%. Um, and it's dropping. But that's good. And uh, that's a sign of maturity. It does mean, however, if click-through is, is your model, then 99.82% uh, of people won't click through. Uh, and these figures are double clicks, last audited, uh, complete annual figures. In, in, uh, in the UK, the click-through rate's 0.07%. And the fact that it's dropping in India is a, is a reflection that everyone has, if you like, a certain amount of pre-programmed click-through. So whether you see, so as the market uh, um, uh, expands and people are exposed to more advertising, you will still only click a set amount of times. Um, the headline here is that it doesn't mean ad our online advertising is dead. You just have to be smarter. And there are lots of examples in this presentation that illustrate this point. I'll, I did have a video for, uh, for this, but the, the point is illustrated with some of the others. Um, the video showed someone who was part of the narrative, and I know we've, we've heard Coke uh, uh, over the last couple of days. Um, right at the top, their CMO says that the, the campaigns now need to evoke the target's reaction so that they see themselves in the story. Uh, um, I'm sure that's not new news, new news to you. Point number eight, uh, make the work relevant, useful, or entertaining. Again, three phrases which I'm sure you're familiar with, and sometimes it, it can be really disposable. disposable. Um, uh, before we play this, th just this quick banner, Head & Shoulders in the UK had almost saturated the anti-dandruff market. We had a really tight budget for this, um, but we found that uh, in research that people suffer from itchy scalps and the product can alleviate that. So it's a classic uh, um, uh, 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 problem, benefit, um, execution, dramatized in, in this very simple rich media ad.
There we go. We can move on. Thank you. I'm glad some of you laughed because if we go back to the PowerPoint, thank you. Because in research, and we don't always have the luxury to research, um, the panel said that it was rewarding and amusing. Um, uh, unfortunately, I wish I could share the results with you. I can't. But uh, I am allowed to say that in some instances, we had a 100% click-through rate, and it, it blew uh, the, the lid off standard metrics that we see, because, simply because it was a disposable, entertaining idea. Number seven, act in real time, now. Um, we're all aware um, of the above line there. Um, below, um, real time uh, helps empower search. Uh, Comscore say that um, your search rankings increase the more people talk about your product, which is, which is no surprise. The, the real uh, point behind this is who will you believe, your peers or an advertiser's message? Um, a job that's recently gone live for Nissan demonstrates this. Quite a simple brief. Nissan, to drive loyalty, have five customer pledges, five promises. And it would have been so easy to communicate those pledges just as they stand. But we felt that wouldn't gain traction. So um, instead, very long story short, we trawled the country and, and received real stories. And now we're plugging in the back end to receive real-time data from all of the dealerships that deliver messages from people rather than us. Um, I wish I could go live to show you this because it's a, it's a rich experience. The campaign idea is every day we make a difference and it opens on a map of the UK. This was a screen grab from last week, sent, hence the, the sunshine, which, it, which is rare. So we're trying to capture, capture the UK in real time. As you cycle through, real facts, real data, real endorsements of these pledges come through. So um, that's like say, 69 punctures sorted so far this year. Yorkshire tea is the favorite beverage for customers receiving their vehicle. And then as you, go, as you, as you immerse yourself in the experience, you get these realistic, animated, moving experiences. So almost, um, almost like Sims World, but it's real data that's building that scenario. And again, that data is fed in real time. Um, this idea is so powerful, um, going back to an earlier point, will we reach a point where digital, pure play digital, becomes, becomes the lead thought? This is the lead thought for a campaign which in due course will touch all sorts of uh, uh, media. Number six, go beyond the destination site. So much is invested in this single isolated um, entity and it's so expensive to drive people towards it, to break people away from their journey uh, to take them to, to, to your content. Why should you expect people over here to know about your content uh, over here? Instead, um, consider deconstructing your material and distributing it. And as we've heard, you can do it through a number of ways. You can optimize bought media, the value of rich media to deliver um, website level engagement in content pages is, is incredible. Um, uh, you can dis uh, deconstruct and distribute it into uh, generic social sites or third party um, uh, sites, partnerships. Um, and of course, as we know, you can use people as a channel. Um, a brief landed from Oral B, um, which just asked us to publish a product table in the run up to Christmas. Just a luxurious, the client said, just a luxurious PDF. We delivered um, the, the site and it had everything you would expect of a, of a product site. Um, uh, it, it, you could select your favorites, you can add them to your cart, you can look at more detail, um, you can look at accessories. But it, it was isolated. 